you know, throwing pots off of a hump of clay, a big, large piece of clay on the wheel, it's really economical. I made this little tool, we call it a hump cutoff tool, and it's actually an Asian style tool. We've sort of changed it a little bit, but I'm going to show you how I use it and why I use it. To get a large piece of clay centered, if you haven't got a whole lot of muscle, this is one of the easiest ways to do it. Divide your clay up into two or three or even four pieces. Dome it while you're centering and rip that smooth and dry. Take another piece and center that one. Combine the two and dome that one and add another piece. It's a real easy way to get big pieces of clay centered. This is about as much as I need to do this project, which is just a small bowl off the top of a hump. So I get my doorknob of clay up here, and I open. Now I, I put my fingertips together as I open. I have more strength with three fingers than I do with just one or even my thumbs. This seems to work best for me. Open it up into a curve and slide back to center. Now bring the bowl upward. Now I'm going to use a rib on the outside and, and uh, smooth and decorate the outside wall. And what I'm doing here is I'm pulling this tool up the side of the wall, but I'm actually only touching the pot about an inch in width. That gives me these, I think, kind of nice natural looking facets on the outside. Clean the water from the inside, clean my rim, and use a rounded rib inside. This one I'm going to tweak the rim just a little bit, just a little piece of decoration. Okay, now, how do we get this pot off the wheel head, or off my hump of clay? The easiest way, yes, you could use your wire, but the disadvantage with using a wire and pulling it below is that you can't necessarily cut evenly each time. So the pots are crooked. And why is that a bad thing? Because the pots are drying, and one side is lower and closer to the wear board than the other side, which means this side of the bowl will dry quicker than this side, and I want them easily and evenly dried as I come to trim them. So I'm taking this beveled sharpness at the point, going underneath, keeping in mind that I want to trim a small foot on these, and I'm creating that beveled area, that corner in there. I'm now going to take the length of string, and like a top, I'm going to put it in there, let it wind around and pull it straight out. Now as I pull, I want to pull it outward parallel to the wheel head. If I pull my tool upward, the string will cut through the bowl. Or downward, and it will cut through my hump. Slightly dry my fingertips and lift it away.
And that's how I throw bowls off the hump.